Hello, Marianne here, I'm back. After some weeks not posting on this channel, not because I haven't been working, but I've just been working on other stuff. Footage that I am showing you right now is actually from the 8th of December, so I had this laying down for some weeks. So for today I want to show you how I painted a landscape with snow. I thought it was a good idea to try that out right now and well it was very fun to paint a snow having the snow outside. So here you see me starting to sketch with yellow ochre. I thought it was a good idea to put some warm color in the sketch. The reference image that I am using is a photo taken by my husband again from the area where he comes from, which is the north of Denmark. And the picture has been taken some years ago, so it's not from this year, but anyways, I thought it was a good image to try to paint. And as I usually do, most of the time at least, I, tr I started painting the sky and I started up with a quite a dark or a bright uh, sky. So I've started filling up the top. It's not something that I do on purpose, but I always mix the color on the plate and then when I put it on the paper, it looks darker than what I thought it would look. So then I mix some white on the paper because yeah, why not? <laughs> save some time and as it is this uh, paint that I'm working on is uh, with is a uh, wash I can mix it on the paper with a little bit of water I am uh, I am still amazed uh, about how good this paper takes the water despite this being my big cheap uh, sketchbook that I have talked so much on this channel Uh, now you see me filling up the gaps in between the branches of the trees and I'm also trying to get the color lighter as I paint the bottom. Uh, then I started putting some darker gray paint in the horizon. There are some very low um, clouds in the sky. I must say I don't feel so good yet to paint clouds. I, th I still have to figure out how to say clouds with paint. So it is good to have a sketchbook to try these things out. And again I did the same. I put a very dark grey on the paper. And I don't know if you catch that. I played it again a little bit slower the wildlife uh, in the in my garden <laughs> that was my cat he gets totally wild when he goes outside <laughs> trying to hunt things so that was him so um, yeah 
back to the painting now I laid some warm colors in the clouds and I was I didn't know about the clouds I didn't I didn't like them a lot but I also know that I just have to continue painting and things has a way of sorting they themselves out so yeah I started putting in all the base color for the branches in the trees taking in consideration the distance so the tree in the front has a thicker trunk than the other ones and I'm trying to not use very thin brushes I think that one is the thinnest one I use also the one that I used to sketch Now I change the brush to a flat synthetic one. I think it's a number eight or a number 10. Putting the first layer, layers of um, snow. And here I try to make a um, close up of me painting so you can see how the brush uh, work looks. Yeah, I'm trying to level up my filming skills, as you can see. Here I am putting some shadows and these are from the trees from the other side of the road. The sun is uh, very low on winter, so we get those la long um, shadows. Now I am working on the other side of the road. It had more shadows. And now I'm putting in some darks for the um, parts where there's no there there is no snow covering the the ground so yeah i didn't know, know i can remember if i men mentioned it, but i don't have so much experience painting snow and as you have may seen from my other videos or my social media i often um, paint summer landscapes which are my favorites I like all those green color colors and all the life that you can um, see in, in them and I also like I prefer summer <laughs> I prefer the warm weather and, and not the cold but the when we have snow it's also very pretty and the snow is like the, the snow light, lights everything's up uh, and talking about sun, the sun just hit my studio from the window.
pure white in some, in some places and shadows, more shadows. I'm working with the details, adding some grasses in the left side of the road and putting more branches, a lot of small branches to these trees that obviously hasn't have no leaves on them. I'm also filling in with a little bit more sky color in between the branches. So yeah, when I, when I started this painting, especially this painting the sky, I thought, oh, this is always this um, ugly face that all the paintings go through when you are starting. But I just kept working and at the end I was quite happy with the result. And this could actually go for a good painting, I think. If I had painted on a canvas or a loose piece of paper, but yeah, I think it's always good to practice and try things out in a sketchbook. It is much easier for me to paint loose in a sketchbook, and this is a very common thing. I know it is not not only me. Each time I decide to make a painting on a canvas or a piece of paper, um, I tend to work a little bit less loose, but all in all I think I am getting better at painting loose. Now you see me putting the date from where I did this and the name of the place and my signature and that is the final result, a snowy landscape and snow in the background. What more can you ask for, right? So pretty and I'm, I'm loving the um, how the sun hits the branches there outside. Here is a close-up where you can see all the brushwork. So yeah, I hope you like this and I hope yeah, that you also had a good start in this new year and I will catch up with you later, hopefully next week again. So yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.